To heat and cool a building takes up an astonishing 40% of the energy used across the world. It's a figure that grows only more troubling as climate change continues to threaten our very existence. But there's an architect who is trying to change not how much energy a building consumes, but how much it produces. Christina Quinn has a story. On a quiet residential street close to Harvard, this pretty nondescript house is known as House Zero. Why is it called House Zero? Well, because there are a lot of zeros, right? One is the uh, building doesn't almost use any um, energy from heating and cooling. And it's uh, zero carbon. It doesn't have any electrical light during the day. No lights, no HVAC system, and barely a utility bill. The goal of House Zero is to produce more energy than it consumes, ultimately providing power to the grid. Architect Ali Malkawi of Harvard Center for Green Buildings and Cities says it relies only on fresh air and solar energy, and it's quiet. It is because we don't have any pumps, nothing is moving. It's very much linked to the outside where windows open and close. It's very gentle. Right, right? there's no hum, there's no room hum. Nothing. There's no machines whirring. It is very quiet, but it's comfortably quiet. It's amazing because we don't notice this unless we see that we, 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 we are living in environments such as this, mm -hmm. right? Because most of our environments have these humming noises, and right. we get accustomed to it. Windows open automatically if it starts to get a little warm or stuffy, and they're framed by panels that provide shade. When the temperature dips outside, the solar chimney keeps the inside temperate. But what exactly is a solar chimney? It's a chimney that allows air to move freely without mechanical systems. It allows air to be drawn from the outside and people to be ventilated without mechanical systems in the lower parts, where you cannot do cross-ventilation. All of this, though, relies on really smart technology. Under the floors and throughout House Zero, there are five miles of cables and hundreds of sensors capturing data like airflow, temperature, and CO2 levels. Put on a pair of augmented reality goggles, and you can actually see it. Now, all the information that we are getting from the house is being pulled into a giant database. No one actually lives here. House Zero is a lab, one Malkawi uses to teach his students that buildings can be living, breathing things that communicate naturally with their environment. We're basically demonstrating in this building that just natural ventilation is such an easy thing to do, but can it be controllable? And at the same time, we're saying, OK, now this is good. Can we even go beyond that? Can we scale it up, right, with using very simple technologies? Bringing ultra-efficient homes anywhere in the world. Christina Quinn joins me now. Hey, Christina. Hello, Jim. Uh, by the way, it's not tofu. It's tofu. <laughs> Excuse me. I knew it. You said it a couple said, times. Okay, fine. I, I know I said it a couple times. Thank you for correcting me. Mm. So what happens, I love this, but what yeah. happens when it's either freezing out or it's boiling hot out? Does right. it still work? It does still work. So the, they store enough energy from the solar chimney um, with, with, in their fo photovoltaic batteries in the basement to, to warm the house in extreme temperatures and to cool it down when it's really hot out. But as a secondary um, option, they have a geothermal pump as well. It's Just photo, as an option. Photovoltaic. Is photovoltaic. How you say it. I want to be clear about that. So, in a related Ooh. matter, and speaking of Cambridge, by the way, a kid who graduated from Cambridge Ringe in Latin, mm. Bill de Blasio, mayor of New York City, yep. apparently wants to change the Big Apple to the Green Apple. Indeed. Is what, I read. what is he proposing? Okay, so just this week, he signed the Climate Mobilization Act, and mm. it is really a historic bill. It will essentially, so it essentially caps emissions for buildings over 25,000 square feet. Which, if you think about the Manhattan skyline, that's basically every building. So it'll cap emissions for those buildings, and that means that by 2024, they need to retrofit all the windows and the they need to get new roofs. Yes, and if they don't, then they're going to like face major fines. So that's and it's, the other good thing too is that it's going to create a lot of jobs. So first ever, I think this is the first ever. It's it, de Blasio is how you pronounce that. De Blasio, name. Christina Quinn. Tofu. To see you. Thanks so much. <laughs>